All right, guys, we're here at Kroger. We need to pick up some groceries. As you guys saw in the last two videos, we're on vacation. Now we're back. We need to restock our fridge or cabinets with all the good food, so we'll head on side. And this is not gonna be a budget or anything. This could be my basics, so I'll show you guys exactly what I get protein, carbs, fat-wise, as well as the price, so let's head on inside. First thing we're gonna grab are our produce. So we're gonna start with some vegetables. We always need spinach, which uh, looks like it's down there, but we'll grab carrots while we're here. So vegetable wise, I'm personally a fan of, oops, carrots, peppers, and spinach. That's pretty much how I get the vast majority of my vegetables in. So we got carrots here, just a bag of tender spinach that'll go in uh, my smoothies, and then we need some peppers as well, right over here. All right, this is where we kind of want to find a deal. Four for five, or three for three ninety nine. So I think the four for five is going to be the deal. We need six peppers, um, is how kind of like I count it out as far as macros and everything. So we'll go. We go two orange, two yellow, and two red. Boom, and that's our vegetables. I do have a list that we're kind of going off of as well because I don't always remember what we need. Uh, but we now need fruit, so we need the Honeycrisp apples. Those are just the go-to. This actually might be a bag full. Are these Honeycrisp? Yeah, these are Honeycrisp. I need six. I don't know if I take one out, will it cost any less? Uh, somebody will eat them in my house, so we'll go ahead and go with this bag of Honeycrisp apples. We also need some bananas for fruit. The OG and bananas are pretty cheap too, so they're a great option. And we need six bananas as well. All right, those are looking pretty good. No major dents or anything like that, so that is clutch. And then our other fruit will be frozen, so it'll actually be in the middle of the aisle, but as far as produce wise, we got our fruits, our vegetables, now we find some starchy carbs, aka potatoes. All right, we're just gonna go with the Idaho potatoes. So pretty much my starchy carb in the morning I have with eggs every single day. We got our big bag. This is five pounds right here. That should be good for a week. Peppers, apples, bananas, potatoes, carrots, spinach. And we're gonna head over. We need to go to get our meats essentially. Protein, chicken thighs, ground beef. Oh, these were the absolute best snack in grade school. If you had one of these, you could trade it for absolutely anything you wanted. If you guys remember like trading like at lunch for like different things. The Cosmic Brownies, my friend George always had these and literally people would give him like five or six different things just to have one Cosmic Brownie. My parents would never buy this stuff. <laughs> and Isaac's saying the zebra cakes are better. I have had the zebra cakes. I mean, that just, I mean, that's a bunch of deliciousness, but it's unhealthy, but post-show, yeah, I'll probably just spend the day here. Protein-wise, I keep it pretty basic. I do chicken thighs, ground beef, and egg whites. So we're gonna grab some chicken thighs right here. These are boneless, skinless chicken thighs. So pretty much these are ready to go. I can take these right out of the package, measure them out, put them in the air fryer. You can buy them with bone in. They might be a little bit cheaper, but it just takes some time to skin them. Personally, I think the convenience of these is unreal. So we're gonna do two packages of this, and that'll last me a week for chicken thighs. Next up, we need ground beef. We're looking for 90-10. I do try to go with the grass-fed if they have it. Throwback to my, when I did the vertical diet, it just tasted really good. But I'm not seeing 90-10 in the grass-fed, so we'll probably have to go 90-10, just regular. Um, so we'll go two, 90-10. This is just Angus beef, private select. But if they do have some sort of like grass-fed 90-10, I normally get that. Yeah, we'll go with two of these. I think I have one at home or maybe a little leftover, so. Nah, we're not doing that. All right, yeah, so two ground beefs. And then the last source of protein, we need some egg whites. Also, while we're here on the way to the eggs, we need to grab our almond milk. So I would grab this almond milk. This is the unsweetened vanilla, 30 calories per serving. But we just actually picked up two gallons on the way home from the airport. So I don't actually need those right now, but that would typically be in my grocery haul. That'll actually be for a few things like butter we already have at the house. Um, orange juice we already have. So I'll point those things out that I would get, but we are actually already have at home. Here is our last protein source. I go with these egg beaters. So you also have your egg whites. Um, these are pretty much the same exact macros, but these are just having to be yellow, and I, in my opinion, taste a little bit better. So I've recently switched from the egg whites to the egg beaters. Um, I don't think there's much of a difference. The macros are pretty much the, exactly the same. So I was like, I'll go with taste and look um, over kind of just like being egg whites versus beaters. I don't think that's a huge difference. Also, we do, um, I do typically have like one egg a day, maybe two. We do have eggs at home as well. So typically I would just grab maybe like a, a dozen eggs and that'll last me two weeks. So I'm only having like maybe one or two a day. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and grab some Greek yogurts. 
That's another kind of like snack. I don't really consider it like a essential protein source, but they're always a good option. The Dan and Light and Fit's are the go-to. You have to go Dan Light and Fit. The Oikos are okay, but personally, I'm a Dan and Light and Fit fan. They've got a bunch of flavors, and peach is one of my favorites, so that's what we're gonna go with today. And then we'll go ahead and check the grocery list again, because I already forget kind of what we've got and what we don't have. All right, ground beef, chicken, almond milk, Greek yogurts, egg beaters. So like I said, we would get orange juice as well, just like simply orange, orange juice, whatever orange juice you want. We already have that at home. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab butter. We already have at home as well. Um, just use a natural butter. Uh, and then last thing we need to grab over here while we're here is some feta cheese. So hopefully we can find that. So cheese wise, we're going with feta cheese. This is just crumbled traditional feta cheese. It's about five servings, so I end up splitting it up into like six days worth. So we've got that. And then another cheese I like to get is the reduced fat Mexican cheese. Boom. So this is the Mexican style cheese. It is Monterey Jack, cheddar, Colby cheese, and some low moisture part skin mozzarella. This is in pretty much every one of my videos I've ever made, so I highly recommend it. Reduced fat, 90 calories a serving has seven grams of protein per serving as well, so that's also a decent little bit of protein. And now let's go ahead and actually enter the middle of the grocery store for beans, rice, and a couple other things. Need your energy drink? <laughs> so yeah, Swedish fish in there or no? Fish, I'm, that's the one I need to try still. But yeah, we'll get Isaac an energy drink because yeah, he's got some editing to do later. <laughs> I'll say this is also not a grocery store I normally go to. Every grocery store is set very, very similar, like produce and fresh stuff on the outside, and you have your like frozen food section and kind of move over, but I don't see fruit in this section, so we'll go over one more. For our frozen fruits, these um, actually probably last me like two weeks because they're, I think, 10 servings a pop, and I use one serving per day. Two of my go-tos, I either use the triple berry blend, which is blackberries, blueberries, and raspberries, or I like the blueberry, strawberry, mango. Personally, I think I have this one at home actually. So we're gonna go ahead and go with the blueberry, strawberry, mango. So when I run out of triple berry, I move on to this. Now we need beans, rice, salsa. My mom asked me to pick up mustard. And then we've got a bunch of Rice Krispie treats at home, so we don't need to get those today. And you guys will actually see all this in a full day of eating that we're gonna film once I have all the ingredients. We're gonna add some black beans. I just go with Kroger brand, no salt added, because it adds salt to plenty of things like the chicken, seasonings, all that kind of stuff. Show some black beans for our at-home Chipotle bowl. First thing we have is our rice. I do have some rice at home since this stuff lasts forever. I do stock up on it. But instead of going on like the budget where you buy like a big pack of rice, I love these Uncle Ben's or Ben's Original Ready Rice. We already have some at home, so I'm just gonna go with two today because these I use once a day. I think I have like five or six already at home. So I'm gonna grab some of these, show you guys what I normally get. I do stock up on these. Like I said, they last forever. But you can also do, if you're on a budget, grab like bags of rice. And that's my budget grocery haul. Just grab a big bag and it'll last you probably like a month if you get a big enough bag. So I recommend that. But if you're quick and kind of lazy, if you want to be quick and lazy like me, the ready-to-go bags are fantastic. 90 seconds microwave and you're golden. And we also need some salsa. We are going with the Pace Medium right here. So that's a go-to salsa for our at-home Chipotle bowls. I think this tastes delicious. I don't know why I don't need to get Pace. I know they're like, Kroger brand products, but for some reason, like paste is one of the few things I won't skip out on. Uh, I don't know why, but it's just like, I grew up with it and that's what I go with. Last thing we need is some mustard, which I think is going on the other side. Yeah, all right. So my mom asked for some yellow mustard and I know she liked the French's. So we got some French's yellow mustard for my mom. Occasionally I'll use that stuff too, but that pretty much wraps up our grocery haul, if I'm not mistaken. So black beans, minute rice, chunky salsa, yellow mustard, and then Rice Krispie Treats, I normally get, but I get the big box of like 40. So that lasts me literally almost a whole month because I only have like one or two a day as well. So that we already have at home, some leftovers. And yeah, that wraps up the grocery list. You can see there, we got all the boxes checked. All right, so let's go check out and then we'll kind of see what the damage is. Typically, my guess straight up is gonna be 100, like right around 100. What was my guess? 100, 123. Or, $100.23, that's accurate. And that is a wrap on our grocery haul. And when you're in the grocery store, try to stick to the outside. It's one thing I tell all my clients is like, hey, do your shopping along the outside first, the fresh produce, the lean sources of protein, all that kind of stuff. Do that first and then go to the middle. I was in the middle for maybe two aisles, pick up some condiments, uh, Rice Krispie treats, beans, rice, the basics. I wasn't in there getting my chips, all that kind of stuff. Try to avoid those things that I know will be triggers for me. But we'll go ahead, that'll end the video here. We do have a full day of eating coming 
literally like in three days, like the next video will be the full day of eating what I just bought in terms of my current like perfect diet or what I enjoy eating myself. But yeah, that counts to be about hundred dollars. So a little bit more on the pricey side, but that's a lot of high quality food that we're ingesting. And that's kind of like the goal with all this because we want to build muscle. We need high quality fuel to do that. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below. But otherwise, be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Just kidding, that is not the end of the video. I decided to come home, lay out everything we bought, as well as pull some stuff out of the fridge and pantry to show you guys exactly what my full weekly grocery haul looks like. So we have our proteins over here. We have our egg beaters, our ground beef, and our chicken thighs, as well as our protein powder. I do two scoops of Transparent Labs. Code Perez gives you 10% off at checkout every morning. This is the new oatmeal chocolate chip flavor, which is pretty good. My favorite is still the fruity cereal milk but that's beside the point. I usually mix that with some almond milk, as I mentioned we had in the fridge, as well as our other liquid calories, our orange juice. This lasts sometimes two weeks. It's like 11 servings, so yeah, I mean, it's a lot. But we also have the rest of our kind of fats. I like to cook with butter, which we have right here, as well as our two cheeses, feta and reduced fat cheese right there. We have black beans for those at-home chipotle bowls and some olive oil spray. This stuff goes on everything that goes in the air fryer, as well as general cooking on the stove top. Then we have our carb sources. Pretty much I go with rice for just about everything. I also have our potatoes, which I have in the morning with my eggs. So our carb sources primarily are rice, potatoes, and then this is all carbs as well. I like to consider this like fruits and vegetables. So obviously apples, bananas, our spinach, peppers, carrots, uh, frozen fruit. It's all carb sources, but it's also very micronutrient heavy. Uh, we have a quick maze at the door, rice crispy treats, a little pre-workout snack, and then our condiments, ketchup, and salsa to put on meals. That's pretty much my weekly grocery haul right there. I'll focus on lean proteins, some good healthy carb sources, and then also our micronutrients. Good food is good fuel for your body. In order for your body to perform properly, you need to fuel it well. Otherwise, all I'm going to do here, thanks for tuning in. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.